Yo, what up everybody, Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome, you know the deal by now. Uh, it's time for our next eBay break. We're going to go ahead and do 2018 Bowman Hobby number number 9, eBay style. Let's do this thing. Alright, the last four boxes of the case. Hey everybody! Hey you guys! Hey you guys! That Pele card is pretty insane. I got tagged in a post. Our forefathers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Our forefathers. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got the Pele I got the Pele autograph in in my knickerbockers right now, keeping them warm, right next to the cheese, just fermenting. Mmm, delicious. Does anybody know, is there like a contraption or a tool that I can buy where I could like, like a, some form of razor or something that I can use to like open up all these packs faster? I feel like such a thing exists. I need that. Can I have, can somebody buy me that for me? Check eBay messages real quick. Oh, it's called the slave. Oh. So I should have a gimp in here just just to open packs. Kinky. Tell me about it, Richard. Mind you, I'm only do I mean I've been doing it four boxes at a time. I wanna say I'm making pretty decent time on it. About 45 minutes on it. Most of the time is spent opening the packs.
<laughs> well, listen, people. Some people just love Bowman. Some people absolutely love the Bowman. Well, you know, I've only been doing this for about a year and a half, but I've got I've gotten pretty decent at uh, at opening the packs. Plus, I got, I got to tell you, man, Tops, they do a really good job of packaging stuff. And, yeah, man, shout out to Tops. Sixers, man, what happened to the Sixers tonight? Uh, yeah, young Jace, this is number nine right now. This is Bowman number nine. Oh, CBJ rips way faster than me. But that man has... Decades of experience over me. But I like to think that I'm, I'm on the fast track for greatness. You know, CBJ rips packs like he's mad at the world. It's like he, he takes it personally. Like, he'd be like, fuck these fucking, fucking packs, mother fucking, fuck you, god damn you, motherfuckers. See, I can't, I'm, I'm wasting valuable nanoseconds. You know, could probably do it like this too. That's another way, but... He tears the strip down the middle, like this, you mean? Yeah, but then the corner there is a little... He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't sleeve anything. <laughs> Freaking agent. You know, the reason I find all that shit so funny is because that, that kind of was, was, uh, that was kind of discussed today in the meeting, among many other things. He just tosses the relics like, oh, fuck these, fuck these. Uh, yes, well, Lunch Money, I'm currently recording the video right now. Um, and videos are always uploaded at the end of the night. By the way, you guys, uh, I don't know who banned uh, Unlucky or whatever, un Unmasked, Unveiled. That was you, Freak of Nature? Duh, Freak of Nature. Why'd you do that, bro? That dude just sent me a message on eBay. Talking about he's not going to do business anymore with me. Because he thinks I banned him. What's up with that freaking nature? I didn't even ban the guy. Did it by accident. Gotcha. Alright, lunch money. Have a good one. I see. Did you just you put him on timeout or something like that? Yeah, it looks like you just put him on timeout, but he's pretty pissed off. Well, there's nothing I can do. He sent me a message on eBay just now. That's why I'm bringing it up to your attention. See, listen, guys, you, you guys really got to be careful with who you put on timeout and things like that. 
I'm talking to my moderators. You know, because some of these YouTube folks, they just want to watch, man. They, they just want to do their eBay stuff, and that's it. You know what I mean? So please, please be careful with, you know, banning them, putting them on timeout, and things of that nature. Like, unless they're getting, you know, unless they're being disrespectful and things of that nature, there's really no, no reason for you to be putting anyone on timeout or banning them or anything like that. Now, I understand I understand it's, it was a mistake, freaking nature. I'm just saying. Just saying for all of y'all that are watching, please, just please be careful. Because it, it is affecting me. And more importantly, it's affecting my paper stacks. And that is one thing that I will not tolerate. You feel me, Yankees cards? Everybody should just be like the Fonz, man. Just be cool. Just be cool. That sounds about right. Wait, did you pull a Lionel Messi, Tomas? You never told me what you got out of that break. Well, I mean, I can't really tell him to come back if he's not watching Freaking Nature. That and he hasn't responded to my message. He was pretty pissed off. Call me a bitch boy. Call me all types of shit. Appreciate that, Richard, my man, my dude. You got a, uh, what's his name, Fernando Torres dual auto? That's pretty sick. I mean, Fernando Torres is not who he was like nine, ten years ago. And he was a fucking stud. I love when he does that. When he's like single, single, double, triple, triple, quad, quad, single. That like, yo. That's the greatest thing. CBJ tossed it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Come on now. I don't need y'all disrespecting my boy like that. Come on now. What did the Angels go for? About two hundred dollars. Four at you in the house. I can finally continue with the break. Now we just got to hit the old Tommy, Andrew.
All right, almost done with the pack opening portion of this. You saw what, Tomas? Anyway, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. Cole Raggins to 250, Rangers. Are we finally going to see an Otani main? Steven Gonzalez to 150, Atomic for the Twins. Jojo Romero, Atomic for the Phillies. What up, two card arsenal? Still no auto yet. It's 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 awaiting. Just like I said before, behind on a door. Usually in Otani, there it is. They are they're not they're not the they're not the they're not the worst with two card arsenal. I can think I can think of a few products that I would rather not do. I, I got like five that I'm thinking right now. For the Rockies, man, Rockies actually killed this case. Number nineteen out of fifty, Brendan Rogers. For the Rockies. That's nice. You know, a, a heritage break. Donruss baseball, Donruss basketball, to name a couple. Those breaks are not fun. Bowman is Bowman, baby. AJ Puck to 125 for the One box down.
<laughs> uh, this guy is pretty funny. Jack Flaherty to 4.99 for the Cardinals. Sorry for the uh, that massive pause just right then and there. Uh, had to respond to a customer just now. But yeah, guys, as far as you know, putting people on timeout, I would rather you guys not do it. You know, my moderators out there, and I'm mainly talking to you, freaking nature. Like, come on, man, you're, you're fucking with my paper stacks right now, bro. I know it was done by mistake. You know, mistakes happen, but please, man, please. Don't let it happen again. Let let me handle the timeouts and all that stuff. You know, unless the guy is like clearly hella disrespectful, please leave the timeouts and all that stuff to me. Alright, you guys, I appreciate it. All good, freaking nature. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the dude. Whenever he decides to come in. You know, people people that are new to the to the channel, people that are new to the channel don't really know how we get down. You know what I mean? They don't know our sense of humor. We gotta we gotta ease them into the the Rip City way. You feel me? Uh, Austin Voth to 150 for the Nationals. Oh, good. No, no worries, freaking nature. No worries. Just don't let it happen again. Because I know where you live. And I will call your mom. Don't make me call your mom. You know I'll do it. You know I'll do it. There was quite a few orange in this uh, case, man. Blaine Inlau, number 12. I'm sorry, 19 out of 25 for the Twins. Oh, don't make me call Tracy. Don't make me call Tracy. Last I heard, she was still in the bathroom.
uh, no, I did not. Uh, Tomas, which damn, which which card are you talking about? I already went through a whole bunch. It wasn't in this deck. You said the last deck? This? What do you mean these? Like, okay. So, there are different, like, logos on them. So, my question is... Is the Clint Frazier like a short print or something? Am I am I missing something here? I'm a little confused. Well, yeah, some of these do have like different logos and stuff on them. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's paper, but like as you can see there, maybe it's because it's paper. But the papers have these logos, and okay, that's probably what it is actually. Now that now that you brought it up. On the Chrome, it's like a cooler looking logo. The paper kind of has like a, you know, not so cool logo. I thought I, I thought I skipped something. I was tripping for a second. I was like, what? What did I do? For you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Tomas, try to stir the pot right now. Miguel Angel Sierra. Atomic for the Astros. Jason Martin to four ninety nine Pirates. Well, listen, man, got 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 to got to teach the got to teach the peoples. You know what I'm saying? The correct pronunciation. Tell me about it, Richard. I mean, it's only two in the morning. It's only two in the morning. Eastern time, anyway, where I'm at. Speaking of the Yankees, there's a Yankee autograph for Matt Sauer again. First Bowman, not uh, numbered, so a base auto there for the Yanks. There you go, Unmasked Unveiled. The man you want to direct your anger to is Freak of Nature. Well, Nicholas, you can, uh... Are you for real? For at you, what are you doing? For at you, why are you, why are you putting that dude on timeout, man? Dude, for, we just literally spoke about this, dude. What, bro, what's your problem? Bro, four at you. What are you doing? Go ahead. Yo, four at you. Go to sleep. Straight up. Go to sleep. Yo, unmasked unveiled, bro. Some dumbass, as you can see there, put you on timeout for no fucking reason. I don't know why. 
Come on, four. I literally just told you guys not to put anybody on timeout. And what do you do? The fuck was that about, man? Oh, now, now, now I'm about to get, now I'm about to get upset. I'm about to call your mom, straight up. Actually, I'm about to call your dad. Shohei Otani, Angels paper. Is there any way that I could put him out of timeout? I can't put him out of time. Can I put him out of timeout? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my boy as mod status. So that does not happen again. Yo, Unmasked Unveiled, man. Tarpon dude from eBay. If you're watching, bro, that's... That's some bullshit, man. I'm sorry, man. Steven Strasburg to 50. The gold paper for the Nationals. That Colombian cartel. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's, it's not funny, but as a person with a, with a great sense of humor, it's fucking hilarious. But it's really not funny. To 75, Nick Senzel, or the Reds, that's a nice looking guard. Let's see what's in this last deck here. Cody Bellinger to 499, Dodgers. Oh, Shelly! Let me go ahead and get you that mod hammer, baby. So that some dumbass doesn't try to put you on timeout. Four at you. I am doing my best to, like, seriously not curse you out. Because I am... I'm using every fiber of my being right now to not snap on that kid. Uh, Domingo Acevedo to 125 for the Yankees. Does four need CPR? Mm. I think he needs like a brain replacement or something, man. I don't know what's up with that kid, man. To 150, Carter Kaboom, Nationals. A 420 break will definitely make you feel better, though. Oh, dude, Bowman cards are, are, are gorgeous, dude. Uh, we can't be, no, we can't They're even better with some ink on them. Speaking of ink, where's the last ink? An Otani paper for the Angels. Uh, 
Dude, I literally said, do not ban anybody or put anybody on timeout. <laughs> and what does he do? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry for it, you, but I'm not, not today, bro. Not today. Kyle Young to 499 Phillies. If anyone gets a pass, four should get one. You think so, guilty? And in, in, let's perform an internet lobotomy. Where's this last autograph? Did Ford take it with him on timeout? I guess not. There it is. Jose Adales Garcia. Or oh, actually, how do you, how do you, let me let me let me get my uh, my Hispanic on. Jose Adolis Garcia for the Cardinals. Uh, freak of nature. I mean. I don't know. I really don't know. I could sit here and come up with a million reasons why he would or wouldn't, but the fact remains that he did it against my wishes. Carter Kaboom! With a little boom for the Nationals. Carter Kaboom. Thank you, Tomas. I try. I try. That's that Colombian Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Pinche way. No mames way. No chingues way. Am I? Oh no! I already hit the autograph. All right. I was like, "Where's the auto?" Boom. Pouring out some beer for four. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go ahead and do the recap now because we're done. So we have Jose Adolis Garcia, Cardinals. Matt Sauer. Wait, are we missing enough? We are. We only got three autos. See, I knew I wasn't tripping. Did we get shorted an autograph in this break? No, bueno. I only see three autos. Okay, time to do a quick little run through of this stuff here. I mean, it's, there is no guarantee that there's an auto in the box. Which would suck if that's the case for this portion of the uh, break. So I'm going to go through every card again. Just to make sure. The second stack didn't have one, right? Yeah, I kept every stack separate. You know, because each stack represented a box. So this is the second stack right here. Four must have took it with him. Four must have took it with him. Am I tripping, y'all? Did I skip an autograph? Did you guys notice I skipped an auto or something? Talk to me. Talk to me. Ash, 
of what I have right now in my store. Young, Young Jays. Yeah, so I'm going through them again because the cards do stick a little bit. Uh, if I'm, if we're talking personals that I have in the store right now, uh, Elite Draft, Elite Draft Football has some major, major cheese in it. That's why I try to like really finger these cards because some do stick. Or at you, man. But can you like explain yourself before you do? Like, why? Why did you? Why did you put that guy on timeout? After I specifically told everybody in the room to not put anybody on timeout unless I say so. All right. So Young Jays didn't see an autograph. You know, I'm just doing my due diligence here, making sure that I go through all these cards here. Uh, no, when I say my partner, I mean my business partner. Uh, essentially, um, you know, a wealthy person who buys all the products that I sell. So there was no auto there. Damn, guys. Looks like we're missing an autograph. We'll go through the rest of the stacks. Why not? Fuck it. I'm already doing it. There's a chance it could be stuck to a card because some of these cards do stick. You thought he was rude? Well, for you, man, from now on, dude, please don't put anybody on timeout. Unless, unless I say so, like, yo, unless I say, guys, put so-and-so on timeout or ban so-and-so, like, please do not. Do not. Put anybody on timeout for, and for that matter, anybody. Really, you know, because that, you know, who know? What what if it's a a new customer that I have on eBay, and he, you know, he's watching, and you you do it by mistake, but for him, it's like he thinks I did it. You know what I mean? Or he or she think I did it, and then I gotta hear about it. And then it's, you know, I just lost a customer. And I didn't even do anything. You know what I mean? So, from now on, for, and just anybody in general, don't put anybody on timeout. Don't ban anybody unless I give the go-ahead. Unless I say so. Or unless it's, like, blatantly obvious the guy's being hella disrespectful to me and to you. And even then... Don't do it until I say so. Like, because you're you're fucking with my money. For at you, you're fucking with my money. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I will not stand for that. And Gil Gil does raise a very valid point. You know, I won't remember tomorrow. All right, guys, I hate to say this, but it looks like we got shorted an autograph. It looks like we got shorted in auto. All right, I already went through. Have a good night, 4 at you. Have a good night, man. Uh, let me go through the first stack again. Although I know an autograph came out of it. Maybe there was, like, another auto in there. It looks like we got shorted. I hate to say it. But it looks like we got shorted. Have a good night, four at you. Young Jace, listen, I, <laughs> I know you're kidding, but you'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised. It's it's actually not all good. It's it sucks. 
that they protect themselves by saying things like one autograph per box on average and that on average asterisk allows them to do shit like this shorting us an autograph should be one auto per box period but they they, they, they throw that verbiage on there oh on average like check it one auto graph card per box may contain redemption cards with expiration dates like motherfuckers bro let me continue sorting go going through these real quick I just want to double check make sure that I I didn't fuck anything up you know because that has been the case before you know I've skipped autographs before it's happened before it can happen again so I just want to make sure that I dot my I's, cross my T's, and Q's. You dig? Notorious does raise a good point. Panini does say on average. Tops does not. Yep, looks like we got shorted an autograph, y'all. Well, that sucks. Sorry, you guys. So, we did four boxes, only got three autographs. Uh, Jose Adoles Garcia for the Cardinals, Matt Sauer Yankees, and Brendan Rodgers for the Rockies. And that was a break. 2018 Bowman number nine, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that.